You know, when my check engine light comes on, I'm torn between utter panic and just wanting to ignore it and hope it goes away. Yeah, well, that's understandable because that same check engine light could be coming on for anything from serious damage to your transmission to all the way down to just a loose gas cap. A loose gas cap? There's a trouble code for that? Seriously? Well, that's a really good question. See, there's a very common misconception that the trouble code stored in your engine computer when your check engine light comes on will specifically identify a problem. It's really more like pointing to the symptoms of a problem. Take uh, your temperature, for instance. Say it's 101. Your heat sensor, the thermometer, tells you that your temperature is out of the normal range, but what it doesn't tell you is why you have a fever. Right. Is it the flu or a sinus infection? You need more information, more tests. Exactly. And for any given trouble code, there could be a number of causes. So your trained technician takes the trouble code as a starting point and begins a diagnostic process to determine the cause of the problem. And for some problems, it takes longer than others. So, when your engine management system logs a problem and illuminates the check engine light, you plug in a scanner, download the trouble codes, and go to work tracing the cause of the problem, right? Yep, that's when our training, equipment, databases, and skill get put to work diagnosing the problem and fixing it. Oh, and Dave, if your check engine light is flashing, it means that the problem could lead to serious damage and you should get to the service center as soon as possible to get the problem solved. If it's on but not flashing, you have some time to get in at your convenience. All right. Thanks, Brittany. I feel better already.